Hello there, my name is Christine Terranova. I am the owner of a small business in Tampa, Florida. It's a pottery painting and art studio that I've owned for 15 years. And in light of the coronavirus, I am offering curbside pickup, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays between 12 and 5 for clay and for pottery painting also. The name of my website is www.theceramicgarden.com. Uh, you can order online and you can co come uh, pick up curbside. Uh, I have to say that I have decided to make uh, videos, a series of videos of projects. Um, I'm going to be talking about clays. I'm going to be talking also and showing uh, customers and the whole world, I guess, about how to uh, make certain projects. And hopefully uh, the business, uh, I'll be able to stay alive. Uh, teaching art has been my passion for the last 15 years. It has been a little bit challenging when you work with art. Um, I've always had a part-time job on the side to be able to uh, pay the bills like everyone else. But I'm trying to stay positive and it's really hard to put a smile on my face right now. Uh, I am tired. I've been working for the last two days, uh, day and night, to post all kinds of products online. I'm a people's person and I usually love interaction with uh, my customers and showing them hands-on. So it's a little difficult for me to talk about this virus, but um, I want to show you, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos and the first one here today, what I wanted to talk is the types of clay that I use to um, that the kids can use at home um, and make projects with out of the comfort of the home. Hopefully the kids are not driving you too crazy, but if you have Play-Doh, if you have air-dried clay, paper clay, um, all that type of clay, that also works. You don't have to you know, buy real clay um, to do these projects at home, even though I will be showing you that when you use real clay and you let it dry for about a whole week to two weeks uh, minimum and you fire it and then you paint it you can actually use it as a regular ice cream bowl or you can use them as you can actually have food uh, in your own pottery that you create so that's pretty cool um, so I'm going to be turning my camera around I am not a professional videographer or photographer, so I'm just asking you to bear with me for a second. Well, I'm going to be showing you here uh, the types of clay that I use. So I have this white clay here, which is called white earthenware. It's very satisfying, like the kids say, to like touch it and poke hole and, and mold it and all that. So I like that white earthenware clay because it's very soft for the little kids to play with. And you use it just like you use Play-Doh. I have this speckled brown stone here. Um, it's a reddish color and it's got little specks. Um, I can show you here the projects like it it'll leave you like little natural specks like this black specks once it's fired uh, this was the white clay that I was showing you before you can make pinch pots and it leaves you it after it's fired at in a kiln at 1940 degrees it'll come out like hard and it'll sound like ceramic and it's um, and it'll it'll be white like that the other type of clay that I have is the Stan's Red Clay. This one over here. So they all have like the same feeling. You know, they're cold when you push your, your fingers on them. And you can also all mold them into whatever projects you want. This is a result of the Stan's Red Clay. Here we made like little monsters. Uh, a pinch pot basically that we turn into monsters or we, we can make like a little like um, 
a little dish, like a ring dish or a little soap dish or anything like that. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, start creating videos and let you know that I'm going to be posting a whole bunch of them on my website, theceramicgarden.com. And I will be showing the kids at home or you at home also. It's very relaxing to work with clay. It's very therapeutic. And it's very satisfying. And it, it just calms you down. And it gets rid of your frustration. I will be making video on how to wedge the clay, how to work the clay, how to make pinch pots, how to make butterflies, owls, all kinds of different things. And also videos on what kind of tools you need to use uh, when you're at home. You don't need to go out and buy all these expensive pottery tools. Um, I'll give you tips on all that. And uh, I hope you watch my videos and you have fun at home uh, playing with clay. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.